Good morning, modern steaders. Let's go collect some eggs. I'm ready. Watch out, I gotta get to my bucket. I need my bucket. Coming out. <laughs> the water pressure's getting down there. We need some rain. Hope we get some rain soon. They are calling for some tomorrow. Give them their grain. <laughs> Let's go in New York City and see if we got any eggs we can put in our apron. I see one duck egg. They leave any back here? There's a chicken back there laying an egg. Can you see her? What are you doing? That's not a nesting box. Don't tell Olivia I'm using her egg print. That works nice. Thanks, Kim. These nesting boxes need to get cleaned out. I'll have to go get some more hay for them. Oh, look at that. I found another duck egg. You just never know what you're going to find when you start cleaning. While we're in here, let's check on our free choice calcium and our free choice kelp. They're all doing good. We've had a few people ask us lately, why do we raise ducks? There's a few reasons, but let's start off with the breed we raise. We raise Khaki Campbells, and they are a dual purpose breed. They're a meat bird and a good egg layer. So, that mean, so we're raising our ducks for meat and eggs. We haven't butchered any ducks yet. This year we will. Their eggs are really good in your baked goods. The French use duck eggs for their baked goods, and supposedly that's their secret. We love cooking and baking, and it's all about the delicious, yummy, healthy, nutritionist food here at Lumna Acres. That's one of the reasons why we got the ducks. The other reason is, is that they make a really good rendered duck fat for cooking. We haven't tried that yet. Keep our fingers crossed, this year we'll have some. The chickens will turn that into nice nests for themselves. They'll lay down that hay and make a nice little spot for them. See, look, that little chicken already wants to come in. We'll close it up and give her some privacy. The reason why we chose the Khaki Campbell breed was we've done quite a bit of research on them and they were bred to be very good egg layers and produce if as good, if not better, than a lot of chickens for eggs. And they're really a good size duck for meat. They have a really good fat that you can render and make duck fat with. And they don't need a pond or a pool of water, they just need water for drinking. And that was a huge deciding factor for us because here at our modern homestead, we don't have a pond right now.
Make sure to turn the fence back on. All right, Livy's ready to get the caps off so we can make some flavored kombucha. kombucha, kombucha. Tonight we're gonna flavor ours with cranberry juice. It's not from concentrate. Quite a stool. No. Mm -hmm. Last time we did 10, I believe. So we'll fill up 10 for now with oh, juice. 12. Let me dump this in first. I'll put a little bit in here for you to smell. I just didn't want to smell a lot. Whoa. I bet you this is gonna make a pretty colored one. Mm -hmm. Last time we did blueberry flavored and it was very good. Oh, you're gonna put the caps on for mom? Ooh, that's pretty. Got them all lined up nice and pretty. Now we get to add some more sweet tea to it. We do the continuous brew method. One more. Make two gallons. So this is last time's blueberry, and that's this time's cranberry. You can just put them in a box and keep them in our pantry. Do you know which ones are which? We 
hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really helping the channel grow, and we want to thank you for that. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Lemon Acres, a guide to modern home settings, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.